Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have a mini album to share with you. Actually, it's kind of a bigger album. It's not so mini. I do have a full start to finish on this album that I will play in just a moment that I put in Fast Play. If you have any questions, please let me know. I've used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I will link all the products that I used in the description box along with links to go to Wild Orchid Crafts. And the paper collection I used is a digital paper collection from Knitwit Collections. It's called Hydrangeas, and it's an absolutely gorgeous collection. I will also link all the information on that specific paper pack, along with a 20% off coupon code that Knitwit is offering to my subscribers. So check out the description box for all the information, and if you have any questions, just let me know. So here is the album. This album measures about nine by eight and a half. It was a pre-made album by Maya Road, and it's a binder ring album. I did paint the album black because it came in like a um, gray on the inside and a craft color on the outside. The spine, I used some beautiful trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and some of this flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here is the back. This paper collection is absolutely stunning. Again, it's called Hydrangeas. I decided to make a sort of um, belly band, although it's not a belly band, it's a closure, magnetic closure for the album. First of all, I love the look of the bracket. I used a Spellbinders um, Borders die for that, and I cut that from black chipboard, and then I also added black paper to it, and then the pattern paper as well. That is the only thing I did not film because it took um, a little while to do that. So if you ever want a tutorial on that, I'd be happy to do that. Here I used a large rhinestone uh, diamond buckle with a large pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts in the center. On the side is this beautiful paper, and I also did, um, with the paper collection, if you get the bundle pack, it comes with elements, and some of the elements are the flowers. So I cut out the flowers the three different kinds. They're kind of tucked all around here and I backed them with black chipboard and I bent them up in certain spots and placed foam squares underneath to give them dimension. Hopefully you can see that. And my flower clusters, I use some gorgeous, this is a large trellis rose. These are open roses. And then um, the baby pink in the center and white roses. I also use some sweetheart blossoms, some poppies. This is a uh, flat back pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I also use some of their beautiful white leaves and light green and baby pink leaves throughout. Just kind of tucked them here and there. I have some of the pearl loop spray and some of the pearls throughout. I'll also have detailed photos at the end of the video. So hopefully you, you can see that a little bit better. So this is a magnetic closure album. To the inside, I, I made this myself using the digital kit. I had a video um, showing how you can use digital kits in your silhouette. I plan on doing a more detailed video tomorrow on that. So look, um, for that if you're interested. But basically, I took the digital paper, they come with these different elements, the flowers, this border here, and the sentiment, and I added that on the paper, moved it around to where I wanted, and placed it in the center. So here is this album, it's a chunky album, and again, it's a binder ring album. So on the front here, I used a silhouette cut, and it's a bracket waterfall. I scored it so the person that receives the album can bend it up. They can add photos or journaling to each one of these, and it opens all the way to the back so they can add a large photo to the back as well if they want. Again, using the gorgeous paper collection. On the front here, I used a large um, silhouette cut, and any of the silhouette cuts that are still available in the silhouette store, I will link in the description box as well. Sometimes when I go back and look for them, these were purchased a long time ago. Sometimes they're not in there. So whatever is listed there, I'll, I'll make sure to put in the description box. So again, I added more of these flowers that I backed with black chipboard to make them strong. I put some foam dots behind them, the leaves as well. 
and on this side as well. And then I added tiny little miniature Sweetheart Blossoms and then larger Sweetheart Blossoms throughout. I love mixing the paper flowers along with mulberry flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I absolutely love it. I also, I love this saying so much, I made another little tiny tag. So writing um, maybe in a white gel pen or a silver gel pen or a small photo can be placed on here. And I did leave all of this open so they can add their photo to this photo mat here. So you just kind of tuck it in behind there. This next page, I did a side band, belly band. I added the gorgeous trim. This is with the organza flower in the center. And then I added these ivory heart roses. Let me pull it a little closer so you can see it. I absolutely love those. Again, using the gorgeous paper on my belly band. And then I added a few mats. Backed it all with black. I love this color with black. It would look great with white and craft as well. So those just tuck in the side here. On this side, I did another photo mat, a large photo mat. So a photo can be placed down in this. And then I did a little belly band across this using that gorgeous um, pattern paper, some beautiful pleated box ribbon lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a bow from the same paper collection. I just filled in the bow with this paper collection so it matched. And I added an open rose in it. I made um, a large photo mat using two of the papers. I love these paint chips that all their collections have, or most of their collections have. So those just tuck. This is great for um, adding a photo to and then journaling would be great or just leaving it as it is. I had an extra flower so I just tucked that in there. I thought it looked really pretty and I didn't want it to go to waste. On this side, I love doing diagonal pockets. Again, I used the paper collection. I added this gorgeous small organza rose trimming and some flat back pearls. Another large mat with that. Um, it's the same banner that you see over here. I just did it larger and on the side. I love that you can manipulate the papers to give you all different looks. I also made a little tag, a rhinestone embellishment from Wild Orchid Crafts and a bow. And absolutely everything in here I edged with black soot distress ink. I added just this little, this is one of their element um, elements that come in their pack, and I added a Ally Edwards stamp that says one little story to the side, a bow with a sweetheart blossom in the center, and journaling or photos can be placed on here. And then I have a large oval frame in the center. It says be your own kind of beautiful. I got that from the online silhouette store, so I will link to that as well. I have a bow with the solid paper that comes in the pack. Another one of those ivory hearts from Wild Orchid Crafts. I offset a black cardstock to give myself a frame around it. And here's a template that the person can use to cut out their frame and then slide it behind this. So I'm just keeping that in this pocket over here. My next page is um, a beautiful scallop frame. And I added some of the paper collection and a sentiment again from the online silhouette store that says choose happy every day. I added some ivory ribbon and when you open this up this is an accordion album so you can get lots more photos on this page. So you could get eight more photos on this page. On this side, this is another piece from their element pack and I added one of their digital stamps in. It says, the best thing to hold onto in life is each other, a quote by Audrey Hepburn. I black backed it with some black cardstock, again, great for a larger photo. On this page, I used another one of their, um, these are called place cards and I added another quote that they had in there. It says, you are the finest, loveliest, tenderest, and most beautiful person I have ever known, and even that is an understatement by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I added a bow with one of these beautiful little flowers with diamond centers from Wild Orchid Crafts, and I backed it with some black cardstock and made it into a pocket. So there's two large mats using the gorgeous paper collection. 
again backed them with black so photos can be placed photos can be placed in the pocket as well and what you see here is not on the paper itself it's one of their elements that come it's um, a corner cluster and I added that to this paper and I'll show how to do stuff like that in my video coming up I added some um, open roses some sweetheart blossoms and some beautiful leaves again some more sweetheart blossoms on the back of that I added a large cut out from the element pack and I added the word believe in yourself or the the phrase believe in yourself I added some fabric brads to them and made it into a pocket inside this is a journaling card this is from the element pack from this same paper collection and these are papers from the paper collection that I just turned into tags I added a beautiful brad from Wild Orchid Crafts to the center and I added that phrase to the center of it so that just tucks in here and on the last page I made a large photo mat that I backed with some flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts again I did a cluster of the paper flowers with the mulberry flowers using all different colors of sweetheart blossoms and some pink flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts I backed this photo mat with some of the paper collection and I added a little bit of chipboard to it around the edges so it would hold a tag and have a little bit of dimension to it and here's a large tag with a beautiful bow and one of the rhinestone um, diamond centers from Wild Orchid Crafts so that tucks in the top here and that is my album I hope you've enjoyed it if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish please do all the information you could want is going to be in the description box below I hope you stop by both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections and check out their wonderful product thanks so much for watching